Hey! Okay, so now I want to show you how you can create your own levels for the game, or how you can change whatever you'd like to change. And I've also written down all of this in this small instructions text here, so be sure to read that through too if you um, f get stuck somewhere. So to create a new level, we can go over here to the level build scene, and this is basically a um, completely new scene with all the with all the objects that you will need. So let's move that over here a bit, and let's copy that scene and make a full copy out of it. And let's call this my my level. And then here we have some basic things. So first of all we have these cubes which we can use to easily block out our level. Then we have this jump pad and we have two sets of doors. And these other objects that are group instances that will always um, be working. And you can just move them around easily but you don't have to change anything there. So um, to block out our level simply um, press Alt D to um, create a new cube and then you will see all of these will also they should be actually linked together if you do it with alt D they're all linked if you do it with shift D they're not linked but that's not that important and then you can easily go ahead and block out your level quite much um, also notice that I've got snapping turned on here grid snapping to um, enable me to quickly move those cubes around so we could maybe use um, some kind of slope over here rotate that and you can see this easily gives us the opportunity to create some kind of level you can come up with all kinds of things and then if you want to implement a door maybe um, the way doors are handled is a bit complicated at the moment still I hope that we can improve the code someday but um, for now what you have to do is you have um, you have two sets of doors. You have the green ones that are opened by the player. So basically, if the player steps on the screen plate, then the door will open. And then we have these red doors, which are opened by the swapper cube, which you have here. And what you can also do is um, duplicate the swapper cubes if you want to have two or more in your level to make some more complex levels. Um, so. If you want to activate a door, then you can see here that there's two buttons. And these buttons are basically an OR kind of statement. So if one button tra is pressed or the other one is activated, then the door will be opened in both cases. So what you have, if, if you select the door frame here, you'll see it has a property here, which is called buttons. And this basically is, uh, you have to set this to the amount of buttons that are linked to this door. And for now there's only two buttons per door um, available. And I hope if we improve the code um, this can also be fixed and be made a bit better. Um, I've just written that really poorly. Um, so what this is, is this has two of these buttons which are called jump pad in this um, situation but that's fine. And they both have a collision sensor which sends the property object, OBJ. Um, so the f notice that the first one is called call, a wo call 1 and the second one is called call 2 and these are both connected to the the um, door frame which has the Python controller for this um, for this code with this code and then there is this um, door here which is connected again to the frame which just plays the animation of the door going up and this was kinda like the best system I, I found out for that so if you want to have um, this door be only able to op be opened by one button, then you simply um, set the button's value to 1 and you remove the button which says call 2 um, from from the door here and then only button with only this button in this situation will be able to open the door and the other one won't. Um, so if you want to program anything for this game, this could be a system that could be improved and yeah that's that's that so far so you can easily do that then there's these jump pads which are actually quite cool so they also sense um, the property um, with a collision sensor the property object which is um, on those swapper cubes and if we move one of those cubes over here you can see the cube bounces when it touches the 
the plate. And here this plate also has three properties which are quite important. For one there's um, an X property, a Y and a Z property. And these basically um, define how uh, much the cube will be um, will be uh, jumping, uh, will be jumping off, uh, bouncing off, yeah, and in, in which direction it will be bouncing off especially. So these are world directions, if we change to global here you can see the cube will be bouncing minus 3 um, with a velocity of minus 3 in this direction, in the negative y direction, and it will be bouncing in the z direction. So um, there's no local bouncing yet, that's something that might be um, possible in the future if someone wants to code there too, um, but for now you can set those um, variables to match where um, you want to bounce the cube around. And then there's these green doors which can be opened by the player too with one button or two button, which have basically the same system as the, as the um, red doors, but they're just um, not sensing an OBJ, but they're sensing um, the player. So yeah, that's basically how you can create a, a, a basic level. If you're done with placing all your cubes, what you can do is um, selecting all of those. Maybe you put those on a separate layer so it's a bit easier. And then if I quickly select all of them, then you can join those together to get one mesh. And then you can also remove the doubles. And this will basically leave you with one one mesh which is then pretty good for um, taking it into texturing and creating materials for it and yeah this is the next stage then that will probably be done by um, one of our other dudes so that's that that's how you can create new levels and as you may notice if you press play everything should be working instantly and you can grab the cube around tele teleporting doesn't seem to and much to that and if there's any other ideas that you have for the game again feel free to um, go over to our Facebook group and send us a message there or check out the Blender Artist thread in the Team Projects forum and we'd be happy to hear from you and yeah get your feedback and create this very cool game all together that would be great so thanks for watching and I hope to see some content from you soon.